We see that daily drinking is now up to about 10% uh, of the, uh, um, almost 10% of the population. We see significant increases in the average drinks per week. Uh, it's gone from about three drinks per week up to about four and a half. And that's a 50% that's a increase. That's quite a substantial increase, even though on average, uh, the average drinker is not drinking a lot. We also see, for the very first time uh, in a long, long while, a significant increase in the self-reported drinking and driving among young drivers. And that's a big concern for us. We've seen that measure has been declining uh, for several, several years now. Now we see among our youngest drivers that it's up significantly and so that's a, that's a concerning trend. We're going to be watching that carefully. We also uh, uh, monitor uh, cannabis use in the Ontario adult population in the survey um, and we found that uh, consistent with the last several years that there have been increases uh, in cannabis use in the adult population and um, it's, it's up, uh, it's almost doubled among uh, young adults and uh, interestingly it's uh, gone from about 1% to about 5% of the population aged uh, 55 and over. It seems now that cannabis uh, impairs the skills needed for safe driving and uh, driving under the influence of cannabis might increase your chances of being involved in a collision risk perhaps in the same way that, that alcohol does and, and uh, other research is suggesting that, that use of cannabis may influence your risk of developing a psychiatric disorder like schizophrenia. 1,400,000 Ontarians uh, appear to be experiencing psychiatric distress based on this screening instrument. One of the measures we have is uh, 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 frequent uh, uh, mental distress days in the past month. That's if you've had 14 or more days in the past month that you would uh, that you classify as, as, as uh, experiencing su substantial mental distress and that portion has increased significantly in the in the in the middle-aged uh, uh, population and these are um, young uh, families a lot of them are young families experiencing maybe difficulty making ends meet uh, raising families and so on of course the the survey is 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 a cross-sectional survey and so we can't draw causal conclusions uh, but it's interesting, I think, to consider that uh, this is uh, uh, the year we're looking at, 2009, uh, when we see increases in, in, in some of the alcohol measures for the first time in a, in a long time, uh, increased cannabis use, maybe high levels and perhaps increases in measures of, of, of psychological or psychiatric distress, is also the year uh, when the, uh, uh, a major uh, recession took hold in Ontario, one of, the, one of the worst recessions we've had in perhaps 50 years, and so a lot of people uh, lost jobs, a lot of people uh, are uh, worried about losing jobs or worried about making ends meet, and, and um, it's possible that, that this may have contributed to, to the, the rise in some of the indicators that we've seen uh, in the 2009 data.